Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today we're going to be going through some more of my colored pencils. This is a redub over the uh, existing video that I shot on Sunday um, due to the fact that it was not able to be heard very well. So I do apologize if it is a little bit messed up. Uh, this set of colored pencils is um, the Marco Renoir uh, colored pencil set. Um, this holds all of my Marco pencils. I love this case because of the uh, features that it holds. Um, this is a new case to me. I only have two of them. And the case itself is really kind of cool as you'll see here. Um, there is no folding. There's uh, one side and then there's you know, a, a velcro, velcro sleeve that holds the pencils on one side. That velcro sleeve can be removed and um, leaving the rest of the pencils behind. So you don't have to have the entire case out. You can only, you can uh, definitely take out just one sleeve. This case does hold my Marco Renoir's uh, 100s as well as my Marco Renoir 120s. It also holds my uh, square pastel Marcos as well as my uh, square regular Marcos. Oh, if you flip the case over, um, I'll be doing that here in a second. Uh, you can open the other side as well and utilize the um, three sleeves on that side as well in the same manner. You can take out the center sleeve and the uh, end sleeves. You don't have to fold that fabric down to get to those pencils, which is really kind of cool. I'm just going through the pencils here for you, showing you the different pencils that are uh, in this bag. Like I said, that's the Marco Squares. Uh, the Marco Pastels, as well as the Marco 120s. On the other side is the Marco 100s. You know, you do have a little flappy part in the middle, but as soon as you put all those uh, pencils back into place and zip it up, it is a perfectly normal uh, colored pencil bag. Alright, so the next ones that we have coming up here, like I said, this is a dub over, so um, I may take a couple of seconds to uh, catch up. <laughs> the next ones are a set of pencils that I've had for a very long time. Uh, they weren't included in yesterday's uh, or in Saturday, Friday, Thursday, whatever, the last set of colored pencils because I don't use them very often because they are no longer available. Uh, these are the diamond driven colored pencils and as you can see it goes from the yellows into the oranges, the reds into the pinks, into the purples and blues and greens and then Of course, it goes into, let's see, the greens into the browns into the grays and blacks, as well as the silver and gold. Um, this set, like I said, is no longer available um, on the market. So they are a lovely set of pencil. The only thing that I didn't like about them was they do not have numbers or names on them. So I had to put my own numbers and names on them. The pencil case that those are in are a single slot pencil case that is one of the original pencil cases that I started using when I first started collecting pencils. Now I'm just going to put those away. And the next set, this, these are the Obos uh, colored pencils, also known as the Fuyi. Uh, this is the Obos case. I purchased this off of Ally Express, and um, unfortunately, the the case itself, although is very lovely, and it's well made, 
it does have some issues. Um, the slots in the case, as you will see here in a moment, um, are a little loose for the pencils, so they don't sit very, very well in the case. They do have a fantastic selection of colors. Of course, we have our blacks and our grays, our browns into our greens and blues, and then into our, our those are more of the blues and into our purples. And like I said, and like I'm showing here, they, they are very, very loose um, in the case. So as you'll see here in just a second, you can probably fit two uh, pencils in each slot and not have any issues. So I could probably double up that, that case and get more pencils in it. So we're going into the purples and reds. And I'm just explaining that the case, the case itself, although it's a wonderful case for the oboes, it has enough room. Uh, it uh, does have its issues. Uh, we go from our reds into our pinks, into our oranges and yellows. The um, case itself does up with some Velcro slat, uh, slats on the side as well as on the front. Just going back through the pencils here to show you each color. And now I do have them pointing the wrong direction. They, I do have them pointing up to protect those tips because of the fact that they are loose uh, and do slide around quite a bit. I'm just doing up the Velcro on the sides here. And then, of course, the Velcro on the top does up on the front. And I will probably add more pencils to that case. I, I think I probably will double it up so that I can get more pencils in that case and they are a little tighter and um, a little more secured. And that is the Obos or the Fu Yi uh, colored pencils in the Obos colored pencil um, satchel. Uh, I personally would not recommend purchasing the Obos colored pencil satchel because of the fact that the holes are too big. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee here. This next set is the Prismacolor uh, colored pencils. That I do have two different sets in here, two or three. So we have the Prismacolors and you know I did have some issues with my Prismacolors. Um, I did have some breakage issues as well as some issues learning how to color with them. Um, I have since learned how to color with them and with the help of the uh, doll 133 I don't have as many breakage issues so of course with the Prismacolors as many of you know we do start with our yellows into our oranges and reds into our peachy tones into our pinks purples and then into our blues and right now I'm just going through and discussing the breakage issues that I had and the fact that uh, some of my pencils are really, really small because of those breakage issues. And just take a couple of seconds here and explain that. And then I will go through and show the different pencils that are in this set. Uh, the Prismacolor pencil set does have a fantastic arrangement of colors uh, and one of the uh, best um, grays available. So we have our yellows into our reds, into our peachy tones and pinks, and then we have our blues into our greens, and then our greens into our, our creamy brown colors, and then into our darker browns, our green browns and darker browns. And then we have our browns into that fantastic arrangements of grays and then some metallic colors and some fluorescence as well as the black and the white. 
my white is in a pencil extender because yeah it's really short <laughs> and then we have the uh, pastel low or pastel love um, colored pencils these are a children's colored pencil from Poland and they work very very nicely with the Faber Castell um, colored pencils so if uh, you find as I do that the Faber Castells do lack a little bit of um, pastel colors these do blend very nicely with them and of course we have our yellows into our blues greens um, light tan colors purples some more blues greens and grays uh, the next set here is the Soho Urban Artist colored pencils and they are a wonderful set of colored pencils uh, created for Jerry's Artorama they are done by the same uh, company that has created the Creta color uh, the uh, from Austria wonderful set of pencils many many lovely colors I have not had enough time to uh, fully explore and color with these but I will be doing so shortly they are one of the next ones on my list they are one of the newer sets of pencils in my in my uh, possession <laughs> in my wonderful collection so I will be going through those and using them in a coloring at some point soon again just going through uh, some of the colored pencils and explaining why I haven't colored with them lately of course we have them uh, all in there from the yellows all the way into the grays um, and blacks they have like I said they have a wonderful selection of colors and they do uh, they are highly pigmented I just absolutely love those all right so that is my uh, Prismas, Pastelos, or Pastel Loves, and the Soho Urban Artist colored pencils. Just going to get that closed up. And I do have some room in there for another smaller set of pencils, so I may put a different set in there as well. Oh, sorry about that. Need a sip of coffee. Okay, and the next set of colored pencils uh, that we have coming up is another one of those uh, bags that I was telling you about where you don't have to uh, fold back the front cover. Um, this one here does come apart as well, just the same way that that purple one does. And that is the Starjoy colored pencils. Of course, we have our reds and yellows into our greens and blues pinks and purples and then our peach tones our browns and our grays as well as the uh, ergosoft colored pencils those are a triangular colored pencil uh, that uh, joanna bashford uses quite a bit for her books uh, they are uh, done by the Stedler company lovely set of pencils a little bit harder than um, most colored pencils but they do color quite smoothly I do have some extra room in that bag as well so I do have another set of pencils that needs to go in there but that's the Starjoy and the Ergosoft colored pencils in that set And once again, unfortunately, due to the fact that uh, the sound quality was not uh, was an issue, uh, this is being dubbed over. So I uh, basically am watching it at the same time as you. So I get to tell you all about it as I watch it. <laughs> uh, this is another one. It's uh, one of my favorite bags. This is the Sharpira Farben and the Shuttle Arts bag. And I just love the artwork on this bag. Another 300 slot colored pencil bag. The uh, those are the Shuttle Arts. Um, now, if you have purchased the Black Barrel um, Brute Funers or the Bat Black Barrel Sioux Colors or the Color, 
Uh, you already have an entire set of these. I did compare them when I purchased the Black Barrel um, Brute Funers, and I was able to match them color by color. The, the areas that I'm pointing at right now is the metallic area of the uh, Shuttle Arts, going into the blacks and grays, into the greens, uh, into the blues. I do uh, think this set has a very nice arrangement of colors and a very good range of, co of tones in each color. Uh, so we have our greens going into our blues. And I'm just explaining the um, difference between these and the other companies I just described. And as far as I'm concerned, they're the exact same pencils. Uh, I did match them color for color, uh, name for name, number for number, except for the six that uh, the 174 Shuttle Arts does not have. And I'll start going through some more of the colors here. Maybe if I stop fussing. <laughs> And like I said, I am redubbing this so that uh, you guys can hear me better. Now we're going into our blues. And into our blues, into our purples, purples into our pinks, and then into our reds. From our reds into our browns, oranges, and yellows. absolutely wonderful set of pencils. Like I said, unfortunately, I do feel that the other sets that I have uh, mentioned are a um, either a cast off uh, from quality control of this company, uh, not wanting to take a, a set of pencils that had some issues, or um, just a copycat of the white labeling from this company. Either which way, they're the exact same uh, colored pencils and that's why I don't have any of those those brands in that size because you know I did purchase the the Brute Funer ones and did send them back. Uh, the next set of pencils in this case are the Sharpura Farben uh, colored pencils. This is the 96 color set. I don't know why I have a spare sitting out there other than the fact that maybe I grabbed it uh, and didn't put it where it belonged, or I'm not quite sure. Uh, but we have our whites into our creams and yellows and into our browns. I'm just trying to see where that one belongs because it does not belong where it is. And it is an odd number, so it actually belongs in those tan colors in the front. And I'll figure that out in here in just a second. I do have them in numeric order. And the 96 set does have some uh, differences in the nu numeral orders. I'm going to actually end up rearranging them here in just a second as I talk, um, just so that they fit properly in the, in the sleeves of the bag without being all bunched up. I may have been using them and put them back in correctly. Uh, so yeah, that's probably what I'm going to, probably what I did and ended up messing up the count. I don't usually like to have them four to a sleeve unless I really have to. And right now I don't have to. I have enough bags to not have to do that. So I'm just going through and moving them all around so that uh, they're not four to a slot. because it's unnecessary. <laughs> I have one, one slot there that has four to a slot. But uh, anyway, as you can see, it goes from the whites to the yellows into our light tan browns, into our peach tones, and our light oranges into our orange, and then into our reds and pinks. 
this set has a lot of really really nice colors uh, we go from our pinks into our purples our blues and our aquatic greens into our greens and our dark greens into our browns uh, it does have one of my favorite green grays which is just wonderful for doing moss and other things such as that um, absolutely one of my favorite pencils this is one of my favorite uh, one of my first colored pencil sets and they do have a great selection of grays in the 96 set uh, as you can see my black got broken so it has been sharpened down quite a bit in order to get it to work but that happens um, but as you can see it's a lovely set I did start out with the number 72 set and uh, I used those to death <laughs> so as you can see they're they're a lovely set of pencils and with the 96 set they do have a lot of really great colors um, I think they did a great addition to the 72 set um, for building up those color areas that they were lacking a little okay so we're just going to put this set away we're just going to tuck all those sleeves back into their place there and once again I'm just going through and that's the uh, Sharpira Farben and the Shuttle Arts and as I said just absolutely wonderful colored pencils the uh, Shuttle Arts I've had for over a couple of years now my husband bought them to me, for me for our anniversary um, over a year ago and uh, as Shuttle Arts they're absolutely wonderful pencils and I'm quite sure as the other um, sets they're still a wonderful pencil however if you have one of the other sets you don't need to purchase any sort of shuttle arts because you basically already have that set of pencils there is enough room in this in this bag for a smaller set if I have a smaller set to put in there just going through making sure all my tips are down so that uh, when I zip up the bag and I set it up on the shelving unit that the tips aren't getting broken off all right the next set let's see what do we have next oh I love this bag this bag is one of the cutest bags I have ever seen uh, it is a bag that only holds a small amount of pencils uh, but they do it is such a lovely bag and this is the uh, woodless colored pencils and the sergeant art colored pencils but the bag itself is just adorable I absolutely love the bag so we have our sergeant art colored pencils this is a 72 colored pencil set of course we have our yellows our oranges our reds our pinks into our purples and then we have our purples into our blues our greens into our green uh, green yellows and it also has a really good uh, gray green as well into our browns Sorry about that one more time it has a really good selection of colors for the uh, shuttle arts or sergeant art sorry uh, colored pencil set it does have a lot of uh, reminiscence of the sharpier farben however I did compare them and they are slightly different the shuttle uh, sergeant art colored pencils are a wax based pencil where the Sharpira Farben are an oil-based pencil uh, next we have uh, our woodless colored pencils which were given to me as a gift uh, from one of my followers and uh, they are just wonderful I absolutely love them I don't use them nearly enough 
but they are a wonderful, wonderful colored pencil set. I do have four different sets here, the regular colored pencils, which of course you can see go into from our yellows, oranges, reds, pinks, purples, uh, blues, greens, browns, and blacks. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, into our lighter skin tone set. Um, like I said, I do have four different sets in here. So I have the regular set, the two skin tones. So right now we're looking at the lighter skin tones. Into the darker skin tone set as well. And I have done skin tones with these sets and they both turned out really nice. So uh, without having any wood on them, uh, when you sharpen them, it's a lot easier to get them to a really good point and you don't have as many shavings as um, you would with wood. Uh, you can also use those shavings to uh, do backgrounds and other colorings with. I also have the metallic set and a little bit more room in there for a few more pencils if if I get to, oh I have an entire opening oh cool okay so I have lots of room in there for another set of pencils so I actually do have a set of pencils that would fit really well in there all right so I need some more coffee here sorry about the sneezes I have been dealing with allergies or something lately and I've been having sinus headaches and sneezes and oh, it's just horrible. All right, so the next set of pencils is the Thornton's um, set. The Thornton set comes in its own case and they have uh, different levels of pencils in here. They have the regular colored pencils. Uh, which of course go from our yellows into our oranges, reds, pinks, into our greens, blues, and purples. And then into our browns, blacks, and whites. The next set there, the set that I'm fiddling with there, right there, <laughs> and I will go back and forth because I'm trying to figure out where one starts and one ends. So those are the regular colored pencils on that side. And I did eventually figure this out. And then I have a set of metallics. Uh, right about there. <laughs> uh, that are a triangular colored pencil. Um, very nice pencils. But... Uh, just going back and forth. The regular colored pencils are round, where the metallics are triangular. And then we go from our, our metallics into our drawing pencils there. So those are more of the metallics. Like I said, they are a tri triangular pencil. And then into our drawing pencils, which range from, I think, 3H uh, all the way up to a really soft, um, thick core as well. Which would work really well for uh, doing a charcoal col coloring or a uh, black and white coloring. And then it does have a couple of fluorescents as well, some neon colors there, um, and a couple more neons. And then uh, the ones with the gold tip on the bottom are your watercolor pencils that come in the set as well. And I have used these a couple of times. I'm not a huge person to use watercolor uh, as a, a coloring medium but I do have a few different sets of watercolor pencils and this is one of them and th they are a very good watercolor pencil they are quite well pigmented uh, with watercolor pencils you activate them with water to get the uh, brightest pigments out of them but you can use them as a straight coloring pencil as well 
wonderful set of pencils. Um, I unfortunately did not read things properly when I purchased this set of pencils uh, and I thought they were 150 of one type of colored pencil. However, I was wrong. <laughs> um, but it's, it's not a bad thing. It's a learning experience and it does provide me with those options as well. So basically, if you want a full set of a multimedia type of pencil set where you have the ability to draw color and paint, this is a wonderful set. It, it does have a tag that says Thornton's on it and that tag can be removed so you can add your own later on. Sorry about that guys, needed some more liquids. And of course now I've got the sniffles because I started sneezing. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, this case is a very cute little case. Just opening it up here so it can extend a little bit so you can see how it works. So it does hold quite a few pencils. You can open it and extend it or you can keep that zipper closed and then it's um, a little bit tighter. It does have room for some pens, some erasers and other sorted things. I do have my Winsor & Newton colored pencils in there at this point in time. Uh, this case does make it easy to take an entire set of colored pencils in a small area. So if you're going uh, in the car or if you're going to um, you know, going camping or something like that. One of these small cases would work out really well for those small tight places. And the Windsor and Newtons are in it because I used them uh, while I was doing the um, vaccination shots in my, in my uh, color pocket. So like I said, uh, the Winsor & Newton are a wonderful set of pencils. They are very soft. They, um, they're very creamy. You can definitely layer with them, but you can also smush with them really nicely. All right, so what's next? Uh, next on the list is, I think we're getting into, um, Oh, the big one. One of the big ones. This is the Uni, um, Mitsubishi Uni 100 colored pencil set. Uh, this is uh, one of the reasons why my husband created my colored pencil a holder um, because I just love the way this worked, but I didn't like having the case attached to it and I couldn't remove the case. So my husband um, looked at the mechanism and looked at the way it was set up and, and redesigned it and created it so that it would hold a full one, 120 set and more. Um, these only four, hold four per, pen, for, per um, holder and it, they only hold the Mitsubishi Unis. Uh, it does have uh, uh, dialogue there, uh, diagram there, sh sorry, uh, that does tell you what pencils are in each little holder. It does come in, in and out, that sort of thing. I keep it in there because it does tell me what pencils to put in there. Um, and then I put little stickers on the front of each of them of the color swatch. Uh, it has a fantastic arrangement of colors. Um, I have used it quite often, <laughs> as you can see. Um, the only problem, one of the problems with the colored pencil set that I, I found is it does tip over quite easily when you try to pull a pencil out um, because it is not attached, like it is, is attached to the entire backing and that backing can pull forward and knock your pencils over. Um, they are a mixture of uh, wax and oil. 
but it is a synthetic wax and oil. And I was just showing you there how that uh, tipping forward would happen. Uh, basically, if you pull a set of pencils forward too far you could, to get to one in the back, you could end up pulling that entire set forward. They do have a name and number on the pencils, and they are a thicker pencil. Uh, the design for the uh, forward tippers, the holders, is designed specifically for that pencil. I did try to fit other pencils into it, and there aren't very many that will fit into it properly in order to protect the pencils. Um, my husband redesigned it so that it does um, go into a, a triangle at the very tip. So when you put your colored pencils in, it's not going to break off those tips. This uh, is basically just a square hole uh, to put the pencils into. And of course, you know, my husband did recreate it so that it does have uh, the ability to hold eight pencils per holder instead of just four and it doesn't uh, require being in the box which is the only thing it, which is one of the things that I really didn't like about it is that it had to be in that box which is a little bit large and a little bit cumbersome wonderful set of pencils and absolutely beautiful beautiful colors um, if it, I don't use them nearly enough because they are really expensive now and uh, yeah I don't want to I don't want to use them all up and and not have them anymore I did use them quite a bit when I first got them uh, they were my go-to pencils that sat on my desk because they were very easy to to keep on the desk in that in that box. Now this one here is a very large case. Um, I got this case I do believe for Christmas. I love these cases because you can um, purchase extra holders for them. However, the extra holders that I purchased, as you can see, the holes are not in the right place. So I had to actually punch holes into them. They are an individual um, slot holder. And unfortunately, you can only get an extra two in each case. So it doesn't hold as many as you want, but uh, you know it does hold a good, good selection. And in this case, I have my, um, oh dear, brain just went, went dead. <laughs> I have my U-Buy, uh, which is a wonderful company uh, that uh, sells colored pencils on a student grade. Um, these are not absolutely fantastic, wonderful, top of the line colored pencils. They are definitely one that you would, uh, color with your children with or you know that sort of thing I think there are a couple of steps above Crayola in my opinion um, but the great thing about this company is that when you purchase a anything from their website uh, they will donate one of those items to a less fortunate child or a lower uh, less fortunate school and uh, yeah, it's a fantastic idea, a wonderful charity. They do have a fantastic selection of colors. This is a 100 color set. And the colors are just really nice. And they are quite bright. So they do color fairly nicely. They are a little scratchy, but like I said, they are a student grade uh, and they are a thinner core. I did have some issues with um, centering and <laughs> I'm telling it, telling you right there that uh, I had to punch holes into these sleeves to make them fit in this case because the, the holes on the on the sleeves I purchased were not in the right spot so and then we have our Xena color 
uh, colored pencils, which is a 120 set. They are an oil-based color set and one of my favorites. I have had them for quite some time. Uh, they do color quite nicely. Um, you know, they are a lower lower grade pencil. They're definitely not a, a Sharpier or Farben or anything like that. Uh, but they do work out quite nicely. The great thing about this case, as you can see, is that you can completely take out uh, each sleeve so that you can have one sleeve on your desk instead of an entire case. Going into our greens, our blues, and then into our silvers. We have some metallics in there, a pink and a gold, a silver, and of course our white. Like I said, it is a very lovely set of pencils. They do have numbers and I do believe names on each pencil, uh, at least numbers. And I have them arranged, I do believe, by color number. And like I said, it's one of the first um, inexpensive sets that I have had purchased in the the beginning of my colored pencil collection adventure. They do have a wonderful selection of colors. They do go a little jumbly throughout the, the um, color palette, but they do have a really nice selection of colors. And I'm not quite sure what I'm explaining here. <laughs> uh, I think it's just the factor of that um, they do uh, have a thinner core. They're not as thick of a core as some of the other uh, colored pencil sets. I do hear that they do have a larger set out now, um, but I have not purchased that. I will, I will use those up first before I purchase another set. I do enjoy the Xena color. I do color with them uh, quite often. They are fantastic for those coloring books and that less expensive paper. Um, they do color quite nicely on that, which is pretty much what I bought them for because I was having difficulties with uh, coloring book paper. All right, so the next ones, I think we're getting into more of the um, loose pencils. Let's see. Because I do have quite a few that just don't have homes yet. Um, because I haven't either had time to put them in homes or anything else. But these ones here are uh, another set that I should have showed you yesterday with the Pavlos. This is my set of Chiron Dash Luminance. The 48 set was sent to me by a friend who also sent me this case to carry them in. Uh, absolutely gorgeous case. Wonderful, wonderful pencils. I did purchase the uh, portrait set plus, t plus four. So I do have a 72 set at this point. So I do have a few more to get. And as you can see, I have left spaces in the case for those. They are named and numbered. The names are on the ends of the pencils. Um, as you can see, some of them are in bright white. That is the um, portrait set. And the newer ones are, um, from what I can see are uh, hopefully they've they've switched away from that silver metallic um, printing to the white printing which makes it so much easier to read them. They are an absolutely gorgeous set of pencils. They, they color wonderfully. They blend really nicely and they just smush really really nice. 
not as well as Prismas, but they do color and blend very, very nicely. Whether you're light-handed or heavy-handed, you can definitely get that color out of those pencils. And I don't have a huge variety, but I do have enough to uh, definitely color an entire page without missing any colors. My black, <laughs> I um, if you have all seen it, the Geisha girl that I colored for uh, Tammy's, Tammy's hashtag last month um, uh, did get a little bit to short on my black because I used it in her hair and that girl had a lot of hair so they work wonderfully for hair absolutely and they the skin tones and everything else are just fantastic I have seen so many wonderful pictures done with these uh, Caran d'Ache pencils and they are definitely one of my treasures and like I said, they were sent to me as a gift uh, so that I could play with them a little bit and uh, yeah, uh, enabled. <laughs> so yes, I did purchase the uh, portrait set as well as uh, the, the four extras and I will at some point finish that set off. Let's see, what other treasure, treasures do we have? I know I have a couple more coming up. Uh, these are the uh, Posca colored pencils. You may remember them from Collection Mania Monday last week. Um, they are a wonderful set of 36 colored pencils done by the Mitsubishi uh, Posca, uh, uh, Mitsubishi Uni uh, Pencil Company um, under the Posca pencil name. They are a 36 set and you're not lacking any colors in this set. You can definitely um, use them to create any color that you need. But they're just absolutely gorgeous. They're a nice thick core. They are an oil-based pencil and they do have their color numbers on the butt of the pencil. Uh, on the barrel of the pencil, there is just the company name and the Posca pencil name. And of course, we have our whites into our creams, our yellows, oranges, reds, purples, pinks, blues, greens, browns, blacks, and grays. And they come in these fantastic little, little case, in this fantastic little case that holds each pencil in its own little spot. Uh, the, the little grooves are basically embedded into each of those slots. Um, with the fact that the grooves are on the back side as well tells me that they may eventually come out with more colors, um, but I was only able to ever find the 36. So uh, on the back of the container, I'm trying to put those back into. <laughs> um, I do keep them in the plastic sleeve because on the pla back of the plastic sleeve, as you'll see here in a moment, uh, it does have the color names matched up with the color numbers. If I show that, hold on. <laughs> yes. So as you can see there, it does have all the color names that match up with the color numbers that are on the butts of uh, each of the pencils. It also gives you the information on the co composition of the pencils as well as the company. Wonderful, wonderful set of pencils and definitely uh, worth their place in my collection. Definitely a newer set, but I just love all the Mitsubishi I just love having Mitsubishi pencils in my collection. It's like having a car in your pencil collection. Now, as you all know, um, I received a, I purchased a set of colored pencils that the case looked like they had been run over. Uh, I did send those back and did finally, after almost three months, receive the replacement. So these are the Secura um, colored pencils. These are done by the same company that created the uh, Jelly Roll gel pens. 
the secure secure company these are a triangular I think they're triangular they might be round hold on oh these are a, a really nice set of pencils I just got them back in so I haven't had a lot of time to play with them they are a hexagonal uh, colored pencil sorry I had to check um, but they do have a beautiful color range. Uh, they do go from our yellows into our creams, into our yellows, into our dark yellows, oranges, reds, peachy tones, purples, uh, into our blues, and then of course into our greens and our aquatic colors, into our browns, grays, as well as the gold and silver metallic. They also include a really little cheapy little uh, sharpener as well, which will never ever get used because <laughs> I break pencils with those like nobody's business. But they are a very, very nice set of pencils. They color just beautifully. They do have uh, numbers on them, um, but they do not have names. But on the back of the box is the uh, diagram with the color names and numbers on them as shown here. Absolutely lovely set of pencils. Uh, the bo box does have a lot of uh, Chinese writing or Japanese writing I should say that I don't understand but they do have in English the color names and numbers so uh, you can definitely use those when you do your swatch. Wonderful set of pencils and I was so happy to have them uh, you know because I did swatch the other ones and they were really really nice so uh, these are the Jolly 48 these are a children's colored pencil from Austria uh, these are done by the same company that makes the Soho colored pencils as well as the um, create a color color pencils these are a little bit larger and just an absolutely adorable set they do have a nice thick core and a fantastic color selection for a 48 color pencil set and they do have numbers on the barrels as well as a um, matcher up on the top so that you can match the numbers with the names and do the um, English names because the names on the barrels I do believe are in German but they are uh, just an absolutely lovely set they are made for children uh, so definitely um, not something that I would have ever got when I was a kid I wish I would have uh, you know been able to have those types of pencils when I was a kid both those and the Pastel Love. The Pastel Love are also a child's um, set of pencils. Um, pretty much uh, spoiled little children because <laughs> they're absolutely wonderful pencils and they color beautifully. I have not had a chance to use them as much as I would have liked um, because I did just receive those. So I will be using them uh, for a full coloring um, at some point soon as well. I do have so many that I don't use nearly enough. But like I said, the, it's a 48 color set and they're just absolutely beautiful. Like a, another thing uh, once again is they are a thicker pencil um, so the core itself is a lot thicker as well. I didn't have any problems whatsoever with them being off-centered or anything like that. So they are just lovely. Do apologize need a little bit more liquid so I am not quite sure what I'm going through here <laughs> I did purchase these at a local store um, and uh, was able to find them on Amazon uh, so I'm just showing you here where the color name is and the fact that it is in German and I have seen these in the store that I purchased them from 
in open stock. So I do believe that you can replace individual colors. Um, again, we go from our yellows into our reds, p uh, oranges, reds, pinks, purples, blues, greens, browns, golds, that sort of thing. All right, so that's the uh, Jolly uh, color, uh, Kinderfest colored pencils. Like I said, they are made for children. Here is another set of Mitsubishi colored pencils, and this is a child's grade set of pencils. And I just absolutely love the tin. These were sent to me as a gift, and they're just absolutely wonderful. They are definitely a Mitsubishi pencil. Uh, they are a lower grade than, say, the Mitsubishi 100s or the Mitsubishi um, Posca pencils. However, they are very nicely, they do color very nicely. They come with their own pencil extender as well as a really good sharpener. Um, most sharpeners that come with colored pencils are, is really, really uh, not the best to sharpen with. And that one actually sharpens very nicely. Uh, each pencil does have a color number on it, which corresponds to the chart in the top of the tin. And of course we have our white, yellow, orange, green, and they are all over the place. And that is possibly my fault from the last time I colored with them in not putting them back properly. <laughs> I may have missed them up. But they are absolutely wonderful. I have colored with them and I have done an entire picture with them and I don't want to use them too much because like I said, they were a gift and they are just adorable. I just love the tin. But they, you know, for a 24 colored pencil set, they do have all the colors that you would possibly, that you could, that you would need to do a full a uh, lovely picture and just love that tin. <laughs> uh, and that of course is also a child's colored pencil set and there are several of them, different tins like that uh, and other tins as well uh, with the Mitsubishi children's section um, and they're just adorable. Uh, this is another gift that was sent to me by the same person. This is the Derwent Ink Tense uh, 12 set. Uh, I do have a spare pencil in there because uh, one of the pencils was missing because she accidentally dropped it and it rolled behind her desk, but that's okay. Um, that is not a uh, Derwent Ink Tense, that is something else. Uh, but this is a wonderful set of uh, ink tents colored pencils uh, and definitely wet my whistle on them um, and uh, that that enable train caught me up and and sped me away so I had to buy the entire set so I do have the entire 72 count ink tents uh, colored pencil set I have used them on one picture I'm not fantastic with them. I have to watch some more videos on how to use them properly and uh, how to get the best results with them. You can color with them directly, but uh, um, they are better with water. They are more intensified with water. And once they dry, they are permanent. They're not like a watercolor pencil where if you color it and then you go over it with water, uh, you, can, you can't uh, add water again because it'll reactivate. Once this dries, it is permanent. You can color over top of that, activate what you've colored over top, let it dry, and color over top again uh, and activate again. Once it's dry, it is a permanent color and uh, you can definitely layer that way. It has a great selection of colors from yellows into oranges, into reds, pinks, purples, blues, and dark blues, light blues. And I'm going through and explaining how you can layer and activation and that fun stuff. Um, not quite.
quite sure what I'm going through at that point. <laughs> I am nattering about something. It's all good. Um, wonderful, absolutely wonderful set of pencils. And like I said, they are permanent. Uh, once you activate them, they are, uh, they're like an ink. They are like a permanent ink. I can't believe I didn't go into the second layer of those. <laughs> oh dear. But they are the full 72 set. Sorry guys, I didn't mean, didn't realize it did not go into the second of layer of those. But they are a full 72 set with a beautiful arrangement of colors. I have um, shown them on my um, uh, Fun Stuff Friday video where I have done a full review of them. Uh, these are the Color Colored Pencils Dictionary Edition. One of my very first set of collection uh, pencils. Um, these are five little books of 10 pencils in each, I think it's 10, no, 12 pencils in each book um, with earth, water, fire, earth, water, fire, and air, I think. Not quite sure. I have to. Yeah. Earth, fire. Oh, and. Um, metallic, I think, um, metal is the other one. And of course we have our yellows into our oranges and our light browns. I have done little swatch charts and put them on the inside of each little book so I know exactly what colors are in each book. So we have earth, fire, which has our reds, um, reds, oranges, and some pinks and purples. As you can see, I've used those quite a bit. Uh, we have our water, which is of course our blues and our purples and that sort of color, the, the definitely um, cool colors, the cool water colors. And then we have our wood, which is our earthy tones, our greens and that sort of thing as well as some gray greens and other colors that you would use for trees and those warmer colors. And then we have our metal, which is our browns, our blacks, and our grays. And those deeper earthy uh, warm metal colors. And once again, I have the little swatch in the front of the booklet so I know exactly what goes in what. They are not arranged per color uh, for their little booklet number so one through five are all uh, different um, not not the way I would put the uh, color selection. All right, so I'm just putting those all back together here. They're not usually difficult to get into the box. I was having some difficulties that day. I'm not quite sure why. I think the elastics got in my way. Um, right now I'm just rearranging them from one through five. And like I said, the, the one through five, they, they are definitely not um, not in color order. Color, uh, They are in color family order because each box has their own family but they're not in a rainbow order I should say. Not in my ideal color order. Uh, these, I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way because now we've gotten into um, the storage case where I have the rolls all hidden away. Um, these are pencils that I have put in rolls because I have run out of uh, space for them in some of my colored pencil slots. Uh, I did expect to be purchasing the ones that I purchased so those uh, some of the extra slots that I found are definitely going to be used for those. 
these are the CADRIM or the Q Lee um, 72 count colored pencils. Uh, they do have a one uh, 200 or a 150. I do believe a 150 and a 200 uh, colored pencil set. Uh, when I purchased these, I purchased them as CADRIM. Um, they do have a number on them. They have no name. They have no company name, nothing. They just are a very um, white label colored pencil. They are actually really nice. And other than the fact that the company itself um, being a little deceitful in my eyes, they took an, another colored pencil uh, company's tin and just put a sticker uh, on the tin and renamed them CADRIM. Under the sticker it said QLEE and after doing some research um, the pencils themselves are identical to the QLEE colored pencils. So I'm not quite sure why they did that but uh, they are the Cooley uh, colored pencils renamed as the Cadrim. They have a wonderful selection of colors. They do go from our yellows into our oranges, our peachy tones, and pinks into our blues, greens, browns, and grays. Just a fantastic little set of pencils. Unfortunately, I, I really wish that the company wouldn't have been a little bit deceitful in their packaging. So what else do we have in our little satchels? Because I do have a few different satchels. Uh, let's see which one is next. I think. Let's see. Okay. Anytime now. <laughs> uh, oh, these are the Deli Color Emotion colored pencils. These are absolutely adorable. Um, I just love, love, love the names on these colored pencils. They, they are the most fun names ever. I don't use these in coloring very often because I don't want to use them up. I don't want to sharpen them down to the name and remove that name. Um, these pencils are my go-to for if I'm having a really bad day. I just bring these out just so I can read the names on them. <laughs> I have colored with them. They do color very nicely. Um, they're not as soft as the Deli uh, 120 or no, the Deli 72s or the Starjoy 120s, but they are absolutely wonderful. These are a children's pencil. They are a triangular pencil and they just have some of the most fun names ever on them. So they do have a 36 set, uh, 36 count set out there, but unfortunately that de set does not have the names on them. I have purchased that set and sent it back because they did not have the names on them. Um, so if you want to purchase these just for the names, um, great. If you want to purchase them to color with them, fantastic. They are actually a really nice set of pencils. Uh, they do have a good selection for a 24 set. And as I said, um, just make sure that you purchase the 24 set. Otherwise, you're not going to get the names on the on the pencils. So they are just darling. And they're not all that expensive either. All right, so the next set, we are coming to the end of our colored pencil set. I do hope that uh, you are having as much fun as I am going through them all. <laughs> this set is one of my newer sets. This is the Indra uh, full uh, 60 set or 48 set. Um, Unfortunately, the Indra pencils do not have names or numbers on them, so I have numbered them as per their uh, color chart on the back of their box, but unfortunately my little stickers aren't sticking, so I'm going to actually have to engrave them. 
um, they they do not have color names or numbers on them. I have uh, messaged the company and given them that suggestion. Uh, they are an absolutely beautiful colored pencil. They are out of Mexico. Um, they are, and they do have a really nice uh, pastel set that you saw on Thursday um, that are a square pastel set. These are round and they, I do also have um, a double ended area of the rounds uh, regular set as well which has some metallics as well as some uh, fluorescence and that sort of thing. But it does have a great selection of color, 48 colored pencils. Uh, they are a nice black barrel, um, black wood. And other than the fact that they don't have color numbers on them or color names on them, um, they're uh, just lovely, absolutely adorable, wonderful set of colored pencils. Um, I don't have too many with black barrels. I think the uh, only other one that I have with black barrels is the Black Widows. And, you know, I, I do enjoy those as well. These are definitely a wax-based pencil. And they color just absolutely beautifully. They are nice and soft and squishy. So that is the Indra colored pencils. And the next ones, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so we have another round here. And these are the Sioux color. And I have them in one of the original 72 uh, count Starjoy colored pencil set uh, wraps. Um, the original Starjoy color pencils I did give away, uh, but the Sioux color does fit in there. Um, this is the original 72 set of Sioux Color. There are no color names on the barrel. It just says Sioux Color and Soft, uh, soft Series or something. They do remind me very much of the uh, Castle Arts colored pencil set, um, both in the way they color as well as the look of the pencils themselves. This came in a little uh, cardboard tube uh, this set and it does have a really nice selection of uh, colors not quite sure why the golds in between the reds there but uh, it does have a really good selection of colors um, and an, a wonderful selection of greens as well as some gray greens and blues and you know, they do go a little wonky off the off the rail with their numbering. They are numbered all the way to 72. And that is the um, arrangement that I have them in is 1 through 72. And like I said, they, they do have the uh, same white labeling as the um, uh, Castle Arts colored pencils do in the original Castle Arts sets. Nowadays, I think Castle Arts has their names and numbers on them. So they are a little bit different now than they were when they first originally came out. So, and like I said, there is so much white labeling in the colored pencil industry that um, a lot of these lesser expensive um, pencils are created um, in the minds of their creators but are manufactured in uh, manufacturing facilities in China or Asia where they are manufactured a lot cheaper than they would be here in the United States or in uh, other countries. So a lot of um, less expensive colored pencils are created in the same manufacturing facilities uh, with a white label where they put their company name on the label and uh, try to make sure that their mixtures are going into the pencils. And that is the Sioux Color. Now that is the original Sioux Color 72s. I do not have the Sioux Color 180s um, because I do believe that the Sioux Color 180s are the Shuttle Arts 180s. So. I think they are the same thing. So, 
just going to take a sip of my coffee while I'm tying that up. And the next set of pencils we have here are the Plukwi, which is, I do believe, a Polish set of pencils. And they're actually a very lovely set of pencils. This is one of, uh, one of my cheapest set of pencils. They are very, very lovely in color. They're definitely not a white label. They do have their name and numbers on them as well as their company name. And they are very, very nice to color with. Uh, they don't have as many colors in them as I would like, but uh, they are a hexagonal uh, pencil. And of course they have the whites into the light yellows, medium yellows into the oranges oranges into the reds, reds into the pinks and purples. Then we have our blues into our aquatic blues and greens, our greens into our browns and grays. So just a fantastic set of pencils um, and they color really, really nicely. They are a little bit firmer than uh, anything uh, than most people would um, consider a soft pencil but they uh, do have a very good pigmentation and they do color very, very nicely. And I do believe that this is a 48 set or a 50 set, one or the other. Very lovely set of pencils though and um, very inexpensive, so. And I have I'm questioning something, so <laughs> not quite sure what I was questioning there, but yeah. Um, the one great thing about these wraps um, is the fact that you can fit 72 colored pencils in there and it's fairly short, so you don't have to uh, take up a whole lot of room with those pencil wraps. The only thing I don't like about them is I, I get worried that they're going to damage, end up damaging the pencils with rolling them up like that. They don't, but I, that's just my, my fear is that I'm damaging my pencils. Now, unfortunately, um, I have a whole bunch of those, so uh, I do use them quite a bit for those pencils that I just don't have room for or that I don't want to use a whole lot. Uh, these are the um, Amazon Basics, I do believe. Yes, those are the Amazon Basics. And of course, they are a lovely um, colored pencil. One of my very first uh, sets of wax-based pencils. Uh, they are beautifully cored. They, I don't have too many that are off-centered and they are very, very soft. Um, I was really surprised on how smushy they were on, uh, you know, basically if I, when I first started coloring, I was very heavy handed and they were able to be just mashed together to make pretty colors. And that was one of my favorite things about this set is like the Prismacolors, uh, they can be layered, but they can also just be blended together really easily with themselves. Uh, the white definitely is not Prisma quality, um, but the the colored pencils themselves are really, really nice and they, they do react and color in the same uh, mannerism as a Prismacolor colored pencil, which is just fantastic. And of course you have the full selection of colors there from our yellows into our oranges, reds, pinks, peachy tones, purples, blues into our aquatic blues, greens, and browns, and then our grays. So it does have a very, very nice set of uh, colors. The gold in this set is actually a very nice yellow gold, which is one of my favorites. And that is the Amazon Basics, which is, like I said, a very lovely set of pencils as well.
Alright, so I'm just going to wrap those up and put them away. And I think we are coming close to the end of the colored pencil tour. I know that we've got maybe one or two more to go through. Let's see which ones are next. Maybe. <laughs> yes. So these I do believe, I will tell you in two seconds here, uh, these are a surprise. Ready, set. <laughs> And these are a really nice colored set of colored pencils if they are the ones I think they are. Um, no, these are the Norberg and Linden colored pencils, uh, which are a nice set of pencils. Um, Norberg and Linden uh, did have some issues around Christmas time with their 120 set, uh, which are cray color, cray art, cray art. Um, Rebranded or improperly labeled as cray art colored pencils or there was a mix up in the factory and that's why it's very important to know where your pencils are coming from. Um, they're the factory that uh, Norberg and Linden created their pencils in had some issues and mixed their pencils up with the, with somebody else's. This is their 72 color pencil set. Uh, which is one of their original color pencil sets and as you can see the um, number arrangement because I do have them in numerical order is definitely not not the color family order. I have spoken to them and said you know it'd be really nice um, when you do finally produce your 120 set properly that you put them in color family order. We would be muchly appreciative of that. They are name, named and numbered and even though they are with the black barrel white labeling system, they are a very nice colored pencil with a very good selection of colors and some interesting names as well that are very unique uh, colored names. So um, I have come across a few other sets with the exact same color names and recently more so. Um, so there are some um, copycats out there that uh, have been purchasing the Norberg and Linden set from the manufacturer and white labeling them. So um, keep your eyes out for that. Make sure that you always ch go through and check your color names against other companies with the same number of pencils to make sure that you're not getting the exact same pencils that you may already have. Uh, this set here is a, a wonderful set of pencils and I just absolutely uh, love the color of the pencils themselves. They are very unique. These are the Pegos colored pencils. Um, Pegos also sent me a lovely set of uh, water pans, uh, watercolor pans, which are just beautiful. Um, and their, their color selection is just fantastic. They are named and numbered um, with the Pegos information as well as a number. Uh, they are in color family order from yellows to our oranges and reds, pinks into our peachy tones, purples into our blues, blues into our greens, greens into our browns, and then our grays. And of course with every set there's one or two um, that end up in the grays that I don't think should be there but always end up there <laughs> as well as a gold and a silver. And the gold and silver in this set are quite nice as well. But I just absolutely love the turquoise barrels on these pencils. It definitely um, makes them very unique when looking at them. They color very, very nicely. Um, 
you know, I was really, really surprised at the quality for the price of these pencils. So they are definitely a budget friendly pencil. Uh, and like I said, they do have a great selection of, of colors going into our, our full, full spectrum areas. All right, just going through the pencils here, making sure that uh, going through all the colors, making sure that they're all back in their spot so that I don't crack any of them when I roll it up. <laughs> and like I said, the only thing that I don't really like about these uh, rolls and wraps, yes, I can I can probably store um, a ton of pencils on my shelf in those wraps, uh, but they're hard to get to and um, without pulling everything down on top of yourself. Um, and I always worry about putting too much pressure or too much tightness on the wrap and breaking the pencils. All right, so I do believe that that is one of the final uh, areas that uh, we have pencils in. I think I'm just going through and making sure that I don't have any more. Um, I do hope that you have enjoyed this uh, walk through our colored pencil um, selection. Let's see, what have I got there? Oh, no, I found more. Uh, last but not least, um, of course, is the Color Pocket color, uh, coloring system. Uh, the Color Pocket is a nice little coloring system for adult coloring. Uh, they do carry their own set of pencils that is made for the Color Pocket uh, system. Uh, they hold a nice 24 set of colored pencils. There is 12 dual colored pencils in the set uh, so that uh, you can get a really good range of colors. In here I also have the Bit Toy um, case, which I do have the pencils themselves. Um, my husband printed me a wonderful little holder for my stream deck, which holds the pencils. So it didn't hold all of them, so there is a couple of spares in there, but most of them are on my desk. Which were also a gift from a wonderful, wonderful kind person who sent me so many fantastic little treats. All right, so I do believe that that is the final areas of my colored pencil selection. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, once again, I thank you all very much for joining me. Remember to relax, color, and stay safe. You all have a fantastic day. Oh dear, I've got more. Now, what have I got here? Oh dear, yes, these are not colored pencils. These are my um, Creta Color and my Derwent pastel pencils. Oh dear, we've got more to go. I thought we were all done. Uh, these are a pastel pencil. Uh, this one here is the Creta Color pastel pencil created by the same company. Hold on one second. Do apologize. Uh, created by the same company that the Soho colored pencils as well as the Jolly colored pencils um, were created by. Uh, the company does request or, or um, what is the word? suggest that you uh, sharpen the pencils with the included um, sandpaper sharpening tool. They have a fantastic selection of pencils from our yellows to our reds and purples and blues and greens. I have colored with them a little bit, not a whole lot. I did just recently receive them, so uh, they do color like a pastel. Uh, you can definitely smudge them. The, the colored pencil ones aren't as smudgy as a uh, pastel brick or your pen pastels, 
but they do smudge quite nicely and still give you that line of a colored pencil, which is really kind of cool. Uh, the next ones here, as soon as I zip those up, these little tiny cases are so cute and they are very, very inexpensive. I wanted the pastels to have their own cases so that they weren't being smashed around or bumped around too much uh, and were protected because they are a little bit more delicate than the regular colored pencils. Uh, this one here, of course, I love the little case. It's so cute. It's such a pretty case. This one here is our Derwent uh, pastel pencils, uh, as well as our Derwent uh, pencil sharpener for pastels. Uh, this is the full set of 72, and they they are also um, absolutely fantastic pastel pencils, beautifully colored, um, highly pigmented, very, very well pigmented, big, well pigmentation in the pencils. Um, they do smudge very nicely uh, into each other and they blend really, really nice. So you can definitely put a layer of pencil down and just draw uh, smudge it across the page and make it uh, look very, very um, airy uh, with your color. So, of course, we have our yellows into our oranges and our oranges into our pinks and reds into our purples and blues. And then from our blues into our greens and our turquoise colors. Lovely set of greens for florals as well as backgrounds. And then into our browns, a wonderful set of uh, olive greens as well. And then into our grays and blacks. Like I said, there they the Drewent does produce their own sharpener. Uh, to sharpen pastels and I have used that on my pastels and it works really really nicely so I will probably use that on the create a color as well. Just an absolutely fantastic set of uh, pastel pencils. Now let's see if we have anything else. <laughs> I don't have any sound uh, going, uh, so I don't know what I'm saying, so I don't confuse myself um, because, you know, sometimes if, if you do that, you can end up uh, all, all kerfuffled. <laughs> I am watching this with you without any sound. <laughs> so I do believe that that is the final set of colored pencils. I think, uh, you know, I have finally come to the end of the pencil area of the collection. Um, of course, next time we will be going through the markers and maybe some gel pens and other sorted things in the collection. Um, of course, this collection is very extensive, so the videos may be a little bit longer. I apologize for any sound issues. Um, from the previous video and I hope that uh, we have them, we were able to uh, clear those up with this voiceover. I have never done a voiceover before so please forgive me if it is absolutely horrible. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this wonderful walkthrough of the Corners collection of colored pencils. Stay tuned for part three and, of course, the continuation of the tour. All right, guys, until next time, remember to relax, color, and stay safe. Bye-bye for now.